I could give you the Oxford Dictionary definition of backend, a one-hour sermon on its many use cases, an in-depth history lesson of the head that invented it and teach you all. But instead, I'm going to help you learn backend by yourself. Because following the learning retention pyramid, this number is a higher number than this one. Rest assured, this isn't going to be 25 minutes of yapping. I'm going to show you the simplest form of backend and let you build off that, which is the right way to learn anything. First of all, you need to understand what backend is, and we're going to turn to biology for an analogy, because analogies are better than definitions. You as a human are just your brain. Your body is a meat sack for your brain. It protects it, it feeds it, moves it around, delivers oxygen, etc. If you remove the brain from the rest of the body, you would only be the brain. Your body is not you. That's how the back end and front end works. Your back end is the brain. It's the important piece. The front end looks cool and interacts with the world, but the back end is what actually decides everything. When you move your arm around, your brain fires electricity to make it happen. It's the exact same thing with websites. The back end sends data, the front end receives it. Without the back end, the front end is the equivalent of a corpse. It looks alive, but there's nothing going on inside. So how do you bring your front end to life? Look at an existing front end website you have, assuming you have one, or really any website. Every word, every number, every image is potential back end data. If it can change, the back end controls it. Your job now is to stop hard coding. Here's the one go. Move all the content into a back end file and load it from the front end. This is an idea of what it should look like. That's all we're gonna do. Nothing complicated, nothing fancy. Legitimately, it's just the simplest way to break into backend. Now, as a good teacher, I'm not going to show you everything and ruin it for you. But I will give you everything you need to figure it out so you can have that realization moment by yourself. I'm going to recommend a specific stack for new developers so you don't overthink it. You're going to go ahead and install Node and Express.js. I went ahead and linked the installation guide in the description so you don't have to worry about this. Once you get that down, this is the best part. This page right here, this example specifically, is all you need to know to do this. You can figure out backend with just this example. For the purposes of our goal, you might want to change this line to this line, but that's it. That just makes JSON sending a little easier. Don't overthink it. That's it for the backend. You'll need to fetch the data on the front end, and if you don't want to worry about the fetch command, this should be really all you need to write. The younger me would have probably jumped a polar bear for the simplicity of this guide, so leave a comment if you appreciate this. But go free, go build, and go learn it by yourself. I promise you, this is the start of your journey to backend.